Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, so today right here we have Phoenix Linux Mark 1 Plasma. And this is another distribution made by the creator Phoenix. You might have heard of Phoenix Pi, or I even, I even made a video about this in the past. And that operating system was pretty cool. And now right here we have another interesting operating system made by the same creator for the Raspberry Pi 4, Pi 400, and devices like that. And well, this operating system so far does look really cool. And one thing that I am really excited about is this is using KD Plasma as its desktop environment. I personally love KD Plasma. KD Plasma is my favorite type of desktop environment on Linux. I run it on my main machine. I actually run Manjaro KDE Plasma right now. I do distro hop sometimes, but KDE, I just love KDE. It's so beautiful. I love the customization settings, and it really just is an incredible desktop environment. And to see it running this well on the Raspberry Pi 4 is also really awesome, since usually KDE Plasma on the Raspberry Pi 4 just isn't that responsive. It's really kind of sluggish, but the creator has done an amazing job so let's jump right into the desktop and just take a look at and see what we have here but before that let's start out with looking at the system resource usage to see how much resources we are giving to our system on default since KD is kind of on the heavier side when considering desktop environments so let's type in htop and right here on idle we are using 436 megabytes of ram man that is good for KDE Plasma, considering KDE Plasma, I've seen it use up to like a gigabyte of RAM on various systems. A 400 megabyte is pretty good. It's lightweight and our core usage are low. So, so far it's looking pretty good. I'm just great, happy to see that. So now let's type in NeoFetch. So we have the Phoenix Linux logo right here pretty cool so this is phoenix pi mark one plasma core and we are running a 32-bit system and this is the raspberry pi 4 model 1.4 our kernel is good everything here is pretty good we are running kwin as our window manager which comes by default on kde and what i thought was interesting is the window manager theme is actually chrome os that's why the exit buttons and stuff actually look like chrome os it's an interesting choice but yeah and everything else here looks pretty good. It's all right. So this is based on the 32-bit version of Raspberry Pi OS. So all your same apps and everything like that will be still supported. And one thing I thought interesting is we are actually using the ZSH shell or a customized version of that. I think that's what that is as far as I know. Or actually, I don't think that's the ZSH shell. My bad. It's just I can't remember what it is, but yeah so that's also cool that that's customized and we are this is console the default kd terminal well now let's take a look at the pre-installed application and see what just comes on our desktop so we have this wallpaper and then right here so right here we're gonna have development we have genie and games we have retro pie which actually comes pre-installed which if you're into emulation and stuff that's cool but i personally and i'm not really a huge fan but it's cool to see it on here and i don't really have the gamepad right now to connect but i can f4 to exit but that's retro pie on here graphics we have no paint drawing editor and view Vineyard. right here we have chromium web browser and these are just links to the different websites of phoenix linux multimedia we come pre-installed with cody pretty cool pulse audio vlc and kazam which i'm not sure what kazam is let's look at that real fast maybe it's a video player oh it's a it's a capturing app. that's cool so we can capture a screen in office we don't have LibreOffice pre-installed but that's not an issue you could always install that yourself in settings we have a lot of settings in here which are pretty cool just normal settings on a raspberry pi and system we have time shift which allows you to back up your system i have personally never run it on a raspberry pi but if it comes pre-installed on here, I guess it does work. And we have some more terminals and just some default applications like Dolphin, the file manager. Utilities, we have the default utilities. It also comes with the SD card copier if you use that on your Raspberry Pi. 
pretty cool stuff. And now on the left right here, right here, we're going to have settings, which settings is the default KD settings. And I personally love the KD settings since there's so much that you can change in here. Let's click the workspace theme. Right now, we are still running the breeze theme according to this. But if you click get new looks, let it load up all the data real fast and look like you want to Mac you want a Mac OS Big Sur theme check out the white Sur dark theme click install it will download it straight to your system and you can change your themes this easily it's just a really cool concept and that's one of the biggest reasons I love KD and desktop theme we have some more things and cursor theme if you're not a huge fan of this big blue type of cursor you want the default KD cursor click ox click breeze right there click apply bam you have the default KD cursor so changing these type of things here are really easy if you want a new theme go to get new theme and you can download it straight from there you want a mac os cursor get it right here so there was just so much possible in kd that's one of the biggest reasons that i just love kd so much and yeah that's about it for the settings there's of course more settings in here you can go through but i don't really feel the need to do so next right here on the left we're gonna have our default file manager which is just a default um, normal dolphin which is cool to see on here pre-installed and next right here we're gonna have terminal which we looked at chromium and this thing I want to show you guys this is also this is one thing that you can always be excited about on Phoenix Linux operating systems it's actually gonna be um, this little tool right here that's gonna allow to allow you to have like special effects and stuff so right here we can see that it is actually on that was a little glitch but right here we can change different things but let's say we want to open up something so we open up this and you see it kind of it's going to come up with this effect and if we move it around it's going to have wobbly windows however on kd it's not the quickest and it just doesn't seem to be the most responsive and we have different closed window buttons but it's still cool to see we click right here and now we can see different desktops so we can click right here double click it and now we have a new desktop and as you can see it is cool to have on here but it uses a lot more system resources and it just isn't the most snappy thing on this operating system but it's still cool but for the purpose of this video, I will be turning this off right after we look at the system resource usage with these special effects on. So we'll type in HTOP and right here with that on, we are using a little, like 100 megabytes more RAM, which isn't that much, but it is cool. But you see, there's just glitches in the little thing when I'm using it. So it definitely isn't the best experience, but it's fun to play around with. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And to turn it off, I actually have to just log out and log in, and then I'll be back, and we'll continue looking at the other applications. Alrighty, so I just logged out, logged back in, and now those effects are gone. Just for the purpose of this video, we're going to have a better experience. But yeah, so now we're over on the KDE desktop, and everything looks pretty good. But one thing that's supposed to be special about this operating system is supposed to have really good video playback. So let's open up the web browser right here and look, it's using the Cozia or Cozia. I'm not exa exactly sure how you say that, but it's pretty interesting. And let's go right ahead, test out some web browsing and see is it responsive. So there was a little bit of lag right there, but I click on this and it loads up fairly quick and the scrolling and everything, it's pretty smooth. Have I seen smoother? Yeah, but considering this still is KD running on Raspberry Pi OS, it's pretty impressive to see good performance in web browsing like this. And if we wanted to open up, let's say another tab, Amazon.com, and let's just load that up right here. And another interesting thing I see when I'm in the Chromium web browser, my cursor right here, you see it's actually the breeze cursor, the default cursor on KD. If I put it right here on the top, I don't know if you can tell, but it's actually the blue cursor that was on the rest of the desktop. That kind of seemed a little bit interesting to me. But yeah, so Amazon loaded it up and it's all pretty good. I mean, you can scroll through everything and it just works, which is really cool to see it working this well. And yeah, so now I want to head over to YouTube and test out Big Buck Bunny and see is it going to be good performance. So let's go right here to YouTube.com, Big Buck Bunny. And so right here, let's first play this 720p video since there's actually an extension installed on this operating system which blocks 
1080p 60 or higher videos for the better user experience. So right here, we're going to be on 720p. If we just click Stats for Nerds, we can see that this is 720p at 24 frames. It's not even the full 30, but if we made this full screen, it goes into full screen not very gracefully. I mean, that wasn't the most graceful thing I've seen, but if you scroll through like to right here to the middle, it just, it works pretty well. I mean, I don't see much stuttering, It and it, it's not going to be a glorious 1080p 4K video, but is it going to play smoothly? Definitely. This is smooth video, and it's cool to see it running well on KDE and just have all these optimizations that have already been done for us. So now if we went over to this other 1084K60 video, let's see if it's going to be blocking the 1080p and 4K and the 60fps. So right here I have this open. Let's just click this like to the middle. Then let's try to make this full screen. And again, it's not going to be the most graceful thing ever, but right here so if we look on the top right here we're running this at 720p 30 so it's blocked 1080p 4k and i just can still feel and see a little bit of stuttering while it's playing i mean right now i don't see that much but a few minutes ago i did and yeah but is it watchable it's still pretty good i mean considering how good of a video this is i mean that's good performance so yeah video playback you're gonna have a good time in this operating system web browsing you're gonna have a good experience in terms of a raspberry pi in the world of a raspberry pi but yeah so that is gonna be the phoenix linux and like this wallpaper i want to talk about more of the desktop and the desktop features now so let's say we want to change this wallpaper so if we went over here to configure desktop and see which wallpapers are included. So we have different versions of the Phoenix wallpaper, just different little tones of them. And he's actually included a lot of his own personal wallpapers. And yeah, so that's pretty cool. Like if we wanted that one, we could click apply, okay. And if we type in, let's say system information, or just let's type in information about system, so we're running this, our KD Plasma version is 5.14, which is pretty old, but this is Debian. Debian is known for keeping old packages, so it's expected. You're not going to have the arch experience of KDE on an operating system like this, but it still is KDE and it runs pretty well. One thing I don't know is it says I have 4 gigs of RAM, which is false. I have 8 gigabytes of RAM. That is a bit odd, but yeah, so... I mean this operating system really is cool and I love how much optimizations have been done for us already, how smooth the operating system just flows and just how everything about it, it just it just works I mean and I really do enjoy the KD desktop environment and having it pre-installed on this operating system and having good performance is honestly something that really makes me happy to see on the Raspberry Pi like this. But yeah, would I recommend this operating system to anyone with a Raspberry Pi? I totally would. This is definitely a worthwhile operating system to check out. There's a lot of cool things on here, and I and there aren't too many applications pre-installed if you're worried about bloatware, but there is RetroPie, which is interesting. And internet, we have everything we need, and it just is an operating system that really feels completed, it feels full, and it has good performance in YouTube and desktop usage. So, I've had a really good experience with this. And yeah, I wanna say great job to the creator, Phoenix, for working hard on this operating system. But yeah, it'd be amazing if you subscribe, maybe hit that like button. Any questions, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, thanks for watching.